across the world to places near and far. It's time to cruise above the clouds, no matter who you are. Together you and I will fly the world from Milan to Japan. This is Captain Rimming speaking. Please make welcome the one and only air hostess to the stars and beyond, Miss Pam Ann. Beyond First Class Cabin is a strapping young man. I know a lot of the gay boys here are going to adore him tonight. Um, he certainly knows how to fill a lycra bodysuit. Yes, I'll be sharing my flat bed, wait for it, with the fastest white man, Olympic sprinter, ladies and gentlemen, a Pan Am frequent flyer, Matt Shervington! <laughs> Also joining us on board is an iconic Australian fashion designer, the fabulous Peter Morrissey. <laughs> he will be joining me in my, on the Janome. We've got a Janome in my galley. We'll be whipping up a little number there. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time now to fasten your seatbelts. Him down here. There's no seatbelts. You don't have them in first class, darling. You don't need them. They've got to buy them up the back, though, in economy. <laughs> Where's my seatbelt? <laughs> you don't have one, because I like watching you fly through the curtain. <laughs> we have a good old giggle, don't we? You're very handsome, darling. I've got to get on with the show. So pay close attention. <laughs> pay close attention. I love how you love that. Play... <laughs> Pay close attention to your in-flight presentation. This is for your benefit, so watch and listen carefully. Personally, I couldn't give a flying fuck if you all went up in flames. <laughs> this week, our presentation is brought to you by my One World Alliance partner, American Airlines. <laughs> Hi, my name is Stanglery and I am your head person today. I have worked for Northwest, Southwest, TWA, United, Brandon, Continental. I have worked on the Strata Cruiser. I am 105 years old and I am still flying today. I have flown prop turbo, prop, prop turbo, improper turbo and coach turbo. People say to me, Valerie, I say, why? They say, Valerie, have you ever had a crash? Well, there was this one time we cartwheeled into a cornfield in Idaho. I said to myself, Valerie, you're about to meet your makeup. And that plane, it cartwheeled. And we broke up into four pieces. Four pieces. And we came to a halt. And the smoke had cleared. And I touched myself. Not in a plane. And I said to myself, Valerie, you're alive. You're alive. 
Valerie. So I dusted myself off and I went straight back to work. And as people were leaving, I said to each and every one of those passengers, thank you for flying with us today. <laughs> Some of those girls on American Airlines, they're so old. When they push that trolley through the curtain and they come through and you, like, want a drink, it's not a service. It's just getting them from one end of the plane to the other end of the plane. Half of them have Alzheimer's. They come out with the, would you like a salad? Would you like a salad? Would you like balsamic or sour cream on your salad? Then they go off, they come through the curtain, they come back, Alzheimer's is setting. Would you like a salad? <laughs> 25 salads on American Airlines. That's why they're going bust. <laughs> Remember the golden age of flying? A time when boarding at Boeing meant style, class and glamour? My next guest certainly knows all about that. Remember a time when you boarded in an aircraft and the air hostess would say, welcome aboard? And she genuinely meant it. You know, not like today. Now they greet you as though you're personally responsible for the death of Princess Diana. <laughs> How could you? What has happened to those days? I am bringing them back. What happened to the day you could write bomb on a sick bag? <laughs> and have a good laugh about it. Someone's taken the hate out of humour and put tea in for terror. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited. I can hear a Janome. I think we have a celebrity designer in my galley and I'm thrilled he's here, ladies and gentlemen. Come with me. Let's see who's in my galley. Oh, it's Peter Morrissey. Oh, my God. How are you? Oh, my... I'm well. The last, time, the last time I saw Peter was on the island of Mykonos. Mm. Wasn't it, darling? Yeah, it's famous at Sunset Drinks. Sunset Drinks. And we drank. We drank a lot. We drank a lot. <laughs> drank a lot. You were poochie too. Uh, poochie, Gucci, poochie yeah. You were more popular with the gays than I was. Look, I mean, I, if I have a little ego problem sometimes, I'm in London, I think, oh, I must get away. I might go away on my own just to, you know, get a bit of, you know what it's like, you know. It's all no, I don't know what it's like at, to be you. To, oh, it's very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> so I think I know somewhere quiet like Mykonos, no one will know <laughs> who I am. <laughs> So I go down there and the gays just jump out of bars. You were. <laughs> Damn, I'm like, oh, you know me? <laughs> Do you know me? Do you know me? It's a banana. It's a banana. Oh, it's a banana. Do you know, he's a banana. Oh, he's a banana. Do you have a banana at home? No, I used Imagine to. Imagine Peter at home with his banana. No, you know, <laughs> you know, the worst thing is you should see me on an industrial sewing machine and on a banana. I mean, look at me. It looks a little odd, my staff. I think it's hysterical. And you have a little banana. I did a have a banana. One. I did it. No, it had an overlocker on the back. It had an overlocker. <laughs> Why are we it? talking about this? A banana, because you're, you're an international fashion designer to the stars. I mean, you're the first celebrity, I think, one of the best designers in the country. Thank and you. And the first celebrity, really, the first celebrity Australian designer. Well, I think, you know, um, with Morrissey and Mr. and then. Peter Morrissey. <laughs> no. <laughs> You know what? Well, I would say Christopher Becker. Yes, yes. Christopher Becker. Christopher Becker work. worked for me for years, and yes. I've got to say, there's if I believe in Australian talent, and I believe in like when people say, <laughs> when people say, you know what, you can make a dress, but when a dress is worn, that's when it comes to life. So Christopher Becker can think this up, but my God, she makes it come to life. <laughs> with our speech, our talk on fashion. <laughs> when, are we, when are we touring again? It's called... October, November 2010. <laughs> I'd What's love it to tour with you. Fashion your lives, not your wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at the passengers in economy. I they know. wouldn't know fashion if it hit them I in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but, Peter, I'm, I love the Qantas uniform. I love a print, any uniform. Poochie <laughs> does a print. Yeah. And I love the Qantas uniform, the boomerangs, the whole Australian reference. And... A boomerang? And, you got boomerangs. <laughs> Is that right? How do you call it? A boomerang. Oh, now we're getting really picky. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> But is it true, Peter, that you can tell the size of a girl's ass by how many boomerangs are across it? <laughs> we can bring out an example for you. Because <laughs> you're quite a bit handy, girl. Now, look 
at the boomerangs. Turn around, Christine. Let's just have a talk us through it. So there's one, That's two, a... three, four, five boomerangs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what size your ass is. If you give it to me, I'll make it feel good, and look, look good, how and you'll forget about it. Show. Look, <laughs> look how Christine. Because by the way, and I'm going to interrupt. I'm a five foot nine, bald, forty six year old with a thirty five inch waist. But look how fucking good I look. And I'm a fat. Here. And I'm a fat bitch. <laughs> So, I, you know I have so many boomerangs. By the way, when you wear the uniform, you should have a skinny belt on, you should have the name tag on, you Christine, should have Christine, get off! Get off. <laughs> Christine, Christine, get the fuck off and go make some coffee. <laughs> I love the uniform. You've got the brown and navies, now we've got silver. Now, you've had a very famous person as your I'm... ambassador of that uniform. Well, I've dressed John Travolta as a pilot. Is he gay? Um, he's I think he got is. a beautiful Allegedly, wife, but you know what? Oh, look, uh, with Olivia. Olivia Newton. Calm down, Quaint. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here. So she was my steward, and John Travolta was the pilot, and they are. You know what? How gay is that? Your person. <laughs> your person. <laughs> with a train. She's somewhere in the world. Olivia Newton John is walking around Tullamarine. <laughs> It's an ancient Aboriginal be... word for get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> now, Peter, would you consider designing me a uniform? I'd do anything for you. Well, let's get the genome out. No. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Morrissey! <laughs> See you after the break in a new outfit by Peter Morrissey. Thank you, gorgeous. Thank you, Gentlemen, it's time to ruffle your dunas and get ready, get set. It's time to introduce you to my first class guest, a man who loves to, how would you say it, fly me. Clocking, oh, just over 10 seconds in the 100 metre final in the Commonwealth Games. The fastest white man, the very horny, Matt Shervington. Let's see him in action. <laughs> He's the one with the hungry pants in the Navy. The third one along with the huge bud juke. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think he's here. <laughs> People. Thanks for your help. Jeez, They've been good. They can fill out some lycra, can't they? They can fill out, but you can fill out a lot of lycra. <laughs> can you? How are you? I'm very good. Lovely to see you. When was the last time I saw you? It was on a flight to Sydney, wasn't it? Up the back, wasn't I it? I was up the back, and I couldn't have you up Must the back. Must have been a while ago. Oh, look, I like it up the back occasionally, but I don't, I don't go up the back a lot. But occasionally it's nice. You rough it every now I and then. I rough it every now and then. <laughs> oh, there's cushions in the way of us, isn't there? Just well, there's there's definitely something between us. Yeah, I hate that. Um, so, darling, fastest white man, how fast is fast? To put it into perspective, imagine um, about this long. Your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> really? That's, that's about, that's about 0.03 of a second. Have you any logged any of that in the Mile High Club? <laughs> no? No, it's my screensaver. Is it? <laughs> Gosh, I'd like a screensaver like that. Um, so ten seconds in a ten seconds. Well, that's not long, and you do a hundred meters in ten seconds. The... Do you know what I can do in ten seconds? I can imagine. I could probably take your clothes off. <laughs> Actually, I'd like to see that. No. 
we could start by undoing that, <laughs> couldn't we? Oh! That's um, my pacemaker. Is it? Yeah, so, Matt. Can I say, you look much hotter in real life, oh, I've got to stop. say. <laughs> really? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, my God. You are making me feel a little bit uncomfortable really? now. Really? Because so, that button wasn't a shirt no, button. No, 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 I'll undo that because it just looks so new. What's that down there? That's Is a that... T-shirt. Oh, sorry. Is this the porn nice am jeans. flight? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, so, so drug testing. Yeah, well, that's sort of been a way of life for me as well. So what happens? Because I know there's a lot of viewers that would like to know how they do that. Mm. OK. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to fill you in, but you've got to imagine that you're doing it as I'm talking, OK? OK. Basically, you get a chaperone, so they take you into the, into the bathroom. Really? And they, they follow you to the They toilet, follow you right in. All the way in. And um, give you a cup, which admittedly is much easier for the guys, because obviously there are aim issues for the girls. Right, OK. Um, and then you have to go lift your shirt up to your chest and then pants all the way down. Can you show us? Um, do you have a cup? Do I have a cup? <laughs> Get a fucking cup. <laughs> There's a cup. You know, at, at first I thought... What did you think? Pam, man. Oh, she's a bit scary. Is she? Are you scary? I'm not scary, I'm just natural. It, you are absolutely gorgeous in real life. Fuck. I, I keep... What a fuck I, I, I... <laughs> Um, Bing bong. That's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Who's this on my pants, Cam? Pam. Pam. Yes. Pam. Hi. 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 Listen, the most insane thing has happened. I have missed the Funship Fairstar, so I'm going to have to fly. But the great thing is I'm on your flight. Oh, fantastic. Isn't that great? And I was just thinking, if you could maybe return a little bit of a favour. Do you remember how I had you as a guest on my fabulously top-rating cable show. Do you remember that? Well, I just thought to return the favour, maybe you could upgrade me. No. Yeah? No. Well, well no, no, no. I don't, I don't want first. I look, everybody wants first. You're not going to get it. I don't need a full bed. I just need to be, you know, I need to be able to stretch out. Maybe business would be fine. No. What, no. Well, maybe, what about premium economy? No. No? Well, maybe a window so I can get some sleep or something like uh, that. Or maybe even a, a bulkhead. What about a bulkhead? I don't know. Well, well, what about just the middle of the middle in row 72J? Mate, look. Huh? Oh, look, I'll think about it, OK, Bob? I'll think about it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the gorgeous Matt Shermington! <laughs> See you after the break for our game, Dump It or Declare It. Come out. Thank you. This is Captain Rimming. <laughs> We're currently flying over Disneyland. Now, for those of you on the left, see, I just killed Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Sorry about that, kiddies. Oh, and I apologise for anyone who received more than one meal. Our crew are so old, the meals are by craft. Can't remember a fucking thing. <laughs> now, uh, where are we going again? Security. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have had a security alert. I don't want to alarm anybody here on board. We have to take out a random security check. This is just a procedure. OK, and what's your name? Karen. Karen. Yes. Is that with a K? Yes. K in the gay world doesn't mean K as a word. It means ketamine. <laughs> which is a horse tranquilizer. 
I just thought I'd let all the straight people know out there what K was. <laughs> when the gays go out, they take ketamine. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but they do. <laughs> they have a big snort of a horse tranquilizer. Hey, can you go to the bar? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that, Kay? Now, Kay, can I just come with me, please? Just grab your things, come with me. We just have to do a random security check. Come with me, Kay, up here. Lovely shoes, I love a diamante. What I'd like you to do now, you're gonna have to go through the scanner. We're just doing it, it's just a procedure. Okay, you're just gonna come through the scanner. And uh, we'll, we'll see how we go there. We'll just, we just got to do a check. Yeah. Just come through there. Security. I'll just get in behind. <laughs> just come in behind you there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, just give me your bag, please, Kay. I just have to do a quick procedure. Just mm -hmm. have to quickly go through your bag here. Oh, look, <laughs> look, at, look at this. <laughs> Kay. <laughs> got in a little diary. Oh, oh, oh look, that's a recipe. Hey, what's going on here? Oh. Brian and Craig, Terry and Sue, you crossed Yvonne and Kim out. <laughs> what's up? They can't make it. They can't make it or you don't want them to make it. <laughs> what's this for? What's it's this? It's a dinner party. A dinner party. And then the rest is blank cake. Mm -hmm. Not a full diary, no. is it? <laughs> OK, just won't be a moment. So did you pack your bag yourself? Yes. OK. Have you left it unattended at any time? I have. <laughs> really? Mm. Are they your lesbian friends over there? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> no liquids, I'm afraid. Mm. Oops. Do you use these cards for anything but swiping? <laughs> Now there's a zip, there's a, another compartment. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's that, Kay? What's that? Is that ketamine? <laughs> is Kay carrying, is Kay carrying Kay? <laughs> what is it, Kay? Apparently. Hmm. Well, look, that's a powder. We're not looking for powders, are we? We're just looking for liquids, so you can keep that. <laughs> oh, crikey! <laughs> Hang on, little fella! <laughs> yeah, can you take that, darling? You can't bring endangered species in, please. Mm. Did you know that? No. <sighs> Kate, it's not looking good, is it? Mm. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> What's that, Kay? Oh, I never saw it before. You've never seen it before? No. Smells like... Smells like marijuana. <laughs> Do you want to put that in our office? <laughs> We're going to keep that. Uh, security, I think we have to make an arrest with Kay. I'm sorry, Kay. We're going to have to take you for a full cavity. <laughs> Um, it's just a small procedure, a little fisting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, personally, I love that. I mean, I stick stuff up my vajutsa just to get checked. <laughs> I do. OK, security, so, do you want to come and take Kate away? It won't take long. Mm -hmm. Just a latex glove, relax and breathe in. <laughs> We've got some poppers out there too, so I'm sure you'll <laughs> be really fine. Thanks, secu security, ladies and gentlemen. Shervington, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you to you. <laughs> thank you for choosing to fly Pan Am Airlines, the world's most experienced airline. The fact is, we don't make the same mistake more than Three times. a lady. <laughs> <laughs> no four. We had a virgin blue on the way here. Just didn't see it. <laughs> and if you don't tune in at home next week, I will find out where you live and fly my bloody plane into your bloody house! <laughs>
I'd like to leave you now with a little number, something I wrote in 1975 when I was skinny, six foot tall, blonde, and took it up the date. <laughs> Cause I'm living my life just to sing and be free from LA to New York, from New York to.